Consider pure joy, boy, when you're utterly annoyed. Trials for the testing of your faith, they'll make you great. Perseverance to character and character to hope. Hope doesn't disappoint, though it seems so disjointed, this masochistic painful bliss. Am I to embrace this twist of Calvinist? Like I'm sipping a tonic from a cup that doesn't exist. When I try to rehearse this bizarre biblical verse, this dark hallelujah, this turmoil of molding, this turmoil of scolding. I know it's all discipline, but it feels like I'm sipping from the cup of Mickey Finn. This fucked up joy within. Am I the ultimate fool asphyxiating on my own drool? I believe just one thing for sure, that if I can't be changed for a cure, if I can't change the heart of God, I'm just a motherfucking sod, fucked up git. Piece of shit, Judas kiss, lies insisted, bliss frisk, hiss disses, lip spit, psychiatric bits, joy skipped. I'm in fits. His word proclaims, if I can't change the heart of God, I'm just another fucked up sod. Is this as green as it gets? Cause I'm sure ready to quit. In the absence of grace, to run the long race, I stop the dance in a catatonic trance. If I can't consummate healing, it sends all my convictions reeling. But if the convictions I hold tight are scripturally right, then I'm not screwed. I'm not a confused dude. I'm not lost on lose because there is proof that I can change the heart of God. I will be healed. My desires revealed, stamps of majestic seals. And on my face I kneel, knowing what I feel is forever real. The heart of God, changed with his nod. From now to eternity I will be free. Yeah, from now until eternity I will be free.